What's up? It's your man, The Real Deal, with another video. This video is about the Amnesty Con game that the Mexicans is trying to run. Yesterday you had this massive uh, demonstration called Hashtag Day Without an Immigrant. I mean, they was in full force in Chicago, blocking off streets, you know. And I guess the march ended at the federal building in Chicago. But as far as I'm concerned, I wasn't impressed. I don't know, maybe it's because, I mean, I'm really not a big fan of, I don't spend no money with the Mexicans, no way. And as far as the restaurants and I make my own tacos, you know, I'm not going to pay to eat that shit. But anyway, my message to, you know, the Mexican community, look, what part of illegal don't you understand? You got legal, which is right, and illegal, which is wrong. You know, for the past 50 years, man, I mean, these immigrants, they figure that they can just, long as I open up, set up shop, and I got a business here and half-ass pay taxes, I should be forgiven for my transgressions. How many, how many brothers, man, is in the penitentiary for a piece of crack? You know, how many brothers is in the penitentiary, man, you know, for a non-payment of child support? You dig what I'm saying? So, you know, the Mexican community, you can miss me with that shit. You can miss me with that. Because you're here illegally. Bottom line. <clears throat> and those white folks is letting you know who's in charge. Now, who's got the last laugh now? Dig. And then it's funny that a black man can get three strikes, but a Mexican and the rest of them immigrants file for amnesty. See, this con game that they run is they keep dual citizenship, right? And when they murder somebody, the first thing them damn Mexicans do is run across the border back to Mexico. You know, in the same way with the Jews in Israel, they catch a murder case here, and this carries the death penalty, they run back to Israel, and Israel won't give them back. Same with Mexico, because they don't have no death penalty. You know, so you see the hypocrisy with this amnesty con game that the Mexicans trying to run. Now, unfortunately, you got a lot of black folks, man, that's still on this kumbaya shit. Let's hold hands. We can only, if we work together, we'll be stronger. Man, I'm keeping my black ass home. You can go out there and march and hold up a sign all you want to. But far as I'm concerned, if they breaking up families, how many black people's families been broken up over the past 400 years? I mean, you know, these, these, these immigrants got a lot of nerves, man. You know, and I might not agree with Donald Trump. You dig what I'm saying? You know, of course he's a racist piece of shit. You know, but <clears throat> I will can say one thing, you know, that he is addressing the problem, you know, of the black community in that aspect. Because if tomorrow, if they shipped out all of the Mexicans tomorrow, man, there'll be so many jobs for the young and, you know, for the old G's and, you know, for a second job. You got a lot of cats that's retired, man, and not ready to, you know, to stop working. But, you know, you, you know, you... A little seven and a quarter job, you can't even, some cities you can't even get in there because you got the uh, nephew, he's a manager. You see grandma barely able to walk across, she wiping off the tables. You know, in all of these Mexican faces, you might see one, one black face or maybe one white. You know, and that's not right. That's not right. You know, but that is then, but you know, that sister earlier, and it, matter of fact, that's on call, uh, Shutter Shot 45. Check that video out, y'all. Shutter Shot. Shutter Shot 45. It's a two minute video. I mean, this woman, man, she's dropping some straight ism. You know what I'm saying? You know, old school sister. And I wish a whole lot of old school sisters would come on out, get on YouTube, man. Let's, let's, let's talk. Let's chop it up. 
You know, but that Amnesty Con game, don't fall for it. And that's just like, you know, some of them crackers, man, be trying to talk about, well, the Irish, they was also slaves. Let's set the record straight on that. I know I'm getting off topic, but when one of them crackers be talking about where the Irish were slaves, they wasn't picking no cotton, okay? They was the overseer. You know, and then once they uh, indentured servant with, with seven years, they got a piece of land, they got a horse or a mule, and a plow. You know, and then some of them worked their way up, you know, to, to, to own a couple of slaves that they worked the shit out of. But most of them end up as slave patrollers. That's why you think in Boston and all of these other uh, major cities that the police department is basically Irish. You know, it was founded by the Irish. That's the police department, slave patrollers. But anyway, you know, I tell you, man, these immigrants, these white folks, all of them trying to run a con game. And if you sit up there and debate with these people, man, you know, you may as well just... I may as well charge you to the game because there's no reason for you to be arguing with these motherfuckers about, you know, our history and our problems. But anyway, I'm your man, the real deal, out of the city of Gary, Indiana. GI baby. And for those of you that's from Gary, need you to check out AM 1370 WLTH, Dial in Biggs. She's got that Gangsterville radio, that old school hip hop. I'm talking about like. Uh, the Fat Boys, Houdini, Run DMC. She's got a syndicated radio show. That's AM 1370 WLTH out of the city of Gary, Indiana. GI, baby. Peace.